Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Michelle. And we are the, the Band, Band Pickers. Pickers. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. Oh, good, good, good. Sold Super Bowl Sunday. Yes, it is. And we sold some stuff. Uh, we sold a lot of stuff. We had, so we usually go to the Bend to go to a outlet. That's where we get most of our stuff. And, uh, or thread up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, we had bras ending on the women's. Bras. We have two different Ebays. And then on the men's, we exercise. had exercise workout clothing. Yeah. But we said And that stuff. is probably 60% of our sales. So yeah. we had a good weekend because of the auction. Because of the auction. It's true. Because we didn't sell much else. What are you doing up there? Yes. Yes. But we did get some mail. We did get mail. So I'm going to open it. You're going to open it. I'm going to open the card. Okay. So we're going to open mail. The fruit of the spirit is love, Galatians 5.22. Very sweet. Aww, this is from Leslie. She always comments on our Leslie. videos. Yes, it's from her and her husband. They said they really enjoy watching our videos and they're a blessing to so many. They help us, we help them learn about resale and being part of a community. So that is just awesome. So they wanted to send us a small gift. <gasps> Look at all that fun stuff. Right. She also has, I did watch some of her videos, like her Huskies. She has like baby huskies. Yeah. And one of the dogs they got, they didn't know was pregnant when they got her. Uh huh. And then she had puppies. So they had like a birthing video with all the puppies. Oh, they're just so cute. But I think now she had commented that they were all adopted. But she has a channel, their Huskies channel on YouTube. So uh, Dakota and Pearl. So I'm going to link her channels below. And she also has her Cabin Life at Eden Springs channel. Um, I know she's done some videos and she said she wanted to start getting it back up. So I'm going to link both her channels below. Leslie, thank you Look so much. Look stuff. at all this stuff. Uh, sorry, I wanted to read the card. Look at all this makeup. Well, Rose is going to want some of that stuff probably. But there's a thing here that says Rose. This says Michelle. Oh, it's so pretty. This says the boys. This says Rose. I should give it to Rye so he can open the boys card. And Rose got some stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, look how cute this is. It has a carousel thing on it. So I'm not sure, did she get a closeout of makeup? Look at all this makeup stuff. Wow, that's going to save me a lot of money. I know, look at it all. <gasps> so fun. Blush serum, CoverGirl, Outlast Active. And it's all my color. <laughs> it's all your color? Oh my goodness. It looks like there's so lipstick we'll in here. Here's some shower oil. Oh, nice. That's gonna come in handy now. It's so dry and cold outside. Like every part of me is just like cracking up. Oh, that says Greg. On. What is that? I don't know. I'll open it up. Yes, I'll save Rose if let her open her. What was it? Uh, Sorry, well, I'm Oh, it looks like some baking stuff, maybe. Oh, it's Maybe cute. it's an apron. A little, maybe apron, towel. I'm not sure. How cute mm. is that? Aww. Thank you so I'm much. To open this bag. She has this wrapped up so well. What did you find? Uh, right. What did you get? Card. Gift Thank card. Thank you so much. Sonic gift card. Oh my goodness. Sorry. This. This is fun. I know we got to get into our sold Sunday. Yeah. Look at this stick. I can hide my. Another week. Another cold sore on my lip. And it's nice. it. This what happens. It's like. That's what happens. Oh, exfoliating scrubber. Oh, this fun clinic stuff. Oh, eyeshadow. Look at this. I can wear this as a Ooh, mask, this. huh? And is that a mask? And neck warm. Super stay. This is so fun. So I think she said she got some clothes, clothes out makeup stuff. I don't know. I'm going to have to send her well, an email. Well, I keep my ears warm, oh, too. Oh, hey, that's perfect you for you. I got another one, too. Wowza. So cool. Look at all this fun stuff in here. Okay, Rose and I are going to have a ball going through all this stuff. She's going to pick some stuff. I'm going to pick out some stuff. And a gift card. Leslie and Kurt, thank you so much for yes, all this fun you. stuff. It's so sweet. Okay, sorry. Okay, yeah, let's get to... Uh, we'll get to we some Sunday, stuff but to get through here. This, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff in here. And there's this whole other bag. Thank you. Thank yes, you. I'm going to link her channel down below because I know she wanted to get her channel back up and running. Plus, you can see her cute husky oh, dogs. They're so one. sweet. I know we had talked about dogs in our last video. 
Ann said, we, Ann said we should get a pug. Mm -hmm. I said, I just got to live vicariously through other people that have cute dogs. I guess so. And um, we have kids. We have I have my kids. kids. Maybe That's... once my kids all move out, um, then maybe, then maybe we would get a dog. Is that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Probably it... not. Because then they'll probably have kids and they'll have grandbabies and then we'll be busy with that. Yeah. So, Plus, it's too cool to have a dog. Thank right you now. again so much for this yes, stuff. Thank that you. was so fun. Okay, sorry. I'll get into Soul Sunday. You will? Okay. I actually sold a few things on Poshmark too. American Eagle, these little bikini bottoms sold on Poshmark 10 bucks. And then we're going to get into men's auction. This is auction stuff that. Uh, oh, yeah, we, we sold. sent this out to auction. This was the last one of my. Uh, cars. Dodge Charger. My state trooper it. cars and it was smashed a little bit so i'm like the car was fine but the packaging the packaging smashed so i sent this one out to auction i had hundreds of these at one time and of course that's the, the highest last one, one we ever sold for 38 dollars she sent out to auction it sold for 38 dollars in the smashed one so yeah i so, wish i had hundreds more of them but don't but hey at least we sold them all usually when we get a ton of something we don't we have hard time but there was it. more i didn't get them all you know what I mean? It was like, oh, that was a mistake. Okay, so we're gonna go quick here because there's a lot of stuff. A I lot got four of stuff. boxes of stuff over here. Okay, and this was. And this auction. is what we sold Friday afternoon to Sunday around noon. Um, most of this auction stuff ended yesterday. So two piece Nike lot, ten forty nine. Ten forty nine. This was two. It's a Under Armour and a Nike, but they were three X. Yeah, they're just like so golf I, polo shirts. I put them together. I'm like, eh, I don't want to just do one. And they sold for thirty one oh one. Yeah. So that's awesome. And that's a good thing about auction. They might sell decent, and they might have sold for ten bucks or wherever you put them on for. But they yeah. sold for thirty one. So yeah. So that's awesome. Them. Nike red shorts nine bucks. Nine bucks. Some of the auction I started at five ninety nine. Some I started at eight ninety nine. So this stuff that says nine dollars, it probably was eight ninety nine. But it was easier to add up okay. nine dollars. Three pairs. Three these. Under Armour. They're like base layer shorts. Thirteen uh -huh. bucks. Thirteen bucks. And this is like an Under Armour baseball short sleeve pullover jacket. Thirteen fifty. So our extra large and two X stuff. Definitely. Better. We sold almost everything yeah and then we had like our small medium and large we didn't sell as much of it so you yeah. relisted so it. i did relist re it that yeah thing. so like this is on our bin pickers ebay store um that's what it's called is a bin pickers that's what we have our men's stuff this is a nike pro shirt uh 13 bucks under armor nfl combine so this is when we went to the bin one day we got a bunch of this guy's stuff this doesn't um, say it. Oh, it doesn't have his name in it? This I thought stuff. it did. No, it was something else that had his name in it. But this was, was with, with his it stuff. all. Some Colts player that was here, there was a bunch of his stuff because it had his number and his name in it. So I looked him up. I'm like, oh, he plays for the Colts. So that was one of them. Those were 10 bucks. those shorts. Nike pants, eleven fifty. Yeah, it must have been one of the lots or something. Yeah. Under Armour, Cardinals, um, $7. Like pullover. I don't think this... This is like the Louisville whatever college is there the cardinals right it's not the cardinals the actual right. baseball team i believe you're but maybe right. i'm wrong <laughs> i don't know two under armor shirts right two under armor shirts and these went to van van got these oh, van. 1350 van thank you you'll hear his name a few more times he did bid on some more stuff he bought some stuff and now i'm hoping i wrote down everyone's name of stuff cuz i was trying to write this down and my brain wasn't quite working very well no no <laughs> so Hit the other work. box it started to fall so we write it up and he sets it all up and then we weigh it up and everything so that's why so these are nike shorts right yeah they have a big and, nike logo oh yeah van got these too oh, 1250 yeah he's set he's gonna be set now for Thank summer you, summer's coming i know thanks van and van if everyone doesn't know van he made this for us he sent us some mystery boxes um he's really sweet Vintage Adidas pants, ten bucks. Ten bucks. They're like windbreaker pants. They're not like super. They don't have the trefoil or trefoil logo or whatever on it, right? Mm -hmm. Two Under Armour long sleeve shirts. Yeah, these like zip, I think. At yeah, these sold for thirty seven dollars. Thirty seven. Out to auction. That I was kind of surprised at that. You? 
surprise. Well, they're extra large. I, yeah, which, no, they're a nice. It, it's a nice two Under Armour shirt. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you just you never know when you send them out to auction. You just never know. But usually auctions don't do as well as what but they used to. But for us to get some sales, we we usually have to do some auction. Our sales have been so slow. They have been slow that we we have to start doing better so we got to send out auction and some of it sells cheap and, and some of it sells good but it gets us more sales and i have to say too like you know how you a lot do. of people say and i i felt like for us too it used to work i know you're holding this up but it used to bring like traffic to your store so you'd have auctions and then you would sell other stuff i don't think we sold you know, one other thing on the men's with all this two auction. things we sold two things and i think we only sold like five things this whole week and i had all this auction stuff so i don't feel like it brought more traffic to my store, necessarily. <laughs> but it, it was so. more sales because you sold the auction. So. Yes, exactly. Does that make sense? Okay, so vintage yeah. runner-up. Um, this has a stripe. It's like a running tank top. So Van got this, too. It's so vintage. thank you, Van. Ten bucks oh, on Van that. Van bought that, too. He huh? did. He got, he got another thing. A couple things, actually. So these are vintage. These are not vintage. These are Adidas shorts. Well, they might be vintage. No, they're not vintage. No, no, no. They're... They're not vintage. These are Adidas 05. running shorts. They're semi-vintage. Um, they're, well, they're not new. Jody got these two things. She got those Adidas oh, running shorts these and, these. and these Under Armour running shorts, right? Because they have a running um, brief in them, right? Well, $6 yeah, for mean, the one Adidas, $6 a... for these Under Armour. So, Jody, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. And two Nike shirts. Uh, -huh. uh fifteen fifty. These were like the same shirt, I think. No, this one says Nike Pro. Oh, maybe on the inside. But they're the same. Sure. Kind of thing. Okay. Right. They're a shirt. You're right. They're the same. Two Nike shirts. How much? <laughs> fifteen fifty. We'll take it. Then we had North Face gloves. Guess who got these? Uh, Van. Van. <laughs> he did get these, and uh, they sold for seventeen fifty. So Van, thank you. Seventeen fifty. Keep his hands warm. Yeah. It's cold. I'm sure it's cold up where he is, too. It was, what was it, five degrees this morning. We're driving yeah, it and we're cold. like, five degrees. It's a little cold. Reebok, these are vintage Reebok running shorts, 20 bucks. 20 bucks, yeah. They're really cool. I mean, they are. I like to pick some up of those stuff vintage. Like that. It depends. Still it do just, pretty good. You just never know. You never know. This is Under Armour lot. I don't know what it is. It's a, it's shirt, a shirt and shorts, like compression shorts. Yeah. Yeah, that lot sold for twenty fifty. Twenty fifty. Okay. Sorry, I know I'm just sitting here. You're doing all the work. Voler padded bibs, short bibs, whatever they're called. Sixteen fifty six for those cycling bibs. Uh huh. Yeah, like we we haven't been picking that stuff up, so I was kind of surprised that that sold for sixteen fifty six. Yeah. For you? Yeah. No. Nah. Okay, this American Apparel. Nothing surprises me anymore. Tie dye tank top. Um, Amy got this. Amy, thank you so much. Seven dollars on that. Thank so you, thank Amy. Thank you, Amy. I thought and these were actually quite good. These are vintage. These are definitely vintage. They're Pierre Cardin. They're colorful. They're like swim trunks. They are. Um, they sold for six bucks though. Yeah. Now, could I put this on, buy it now, and sell it higher? Yes, I probably could have. But did I? No. We sent out to auction. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is pretty lightweight, so if we sell it for what we put it out for, we still if make If you would have put it on by it now, though, for, say, 20 bucks, we might not have sold it, and then... Yeah. And right now, we need to sell some stuff. Yeah, right? so we just got to do, do, do what we do, <laughs> right? This is two Nike New Attack t-shirts. Yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. One has basketball, and the other one has like. Oh, it's kind of cool. It yeah. has this like. It's Air... 1987, but it's not really. Yeah. No, but it has like the Air Jordan like design thing or whatever. If it was on it. really 87, I would have put it on by itself. And yeah, sold and it buy it now off, probably. But... So those two Nike T-shirts sold for fifteen forty nine. Okay. Two Under Armour or something. I'm not sure. I just put two Under Armour shirts. Okay. Maybe. One's a shirt. Yeah, one's a shirt. The this is black. Shirt. This. It's like Heather Black. Heather Black. Heather Black, yeah. Okay, it was sold cool. for 10 bucks. Then we have a new tag Under Armour, um, seven bucks. Seven bucks. 
And then we have, that had something on the sleeve. That's why. It was like a polo shirt had something on the sleeve. Two Some Under shirts. Armour shirts. Uh, these sold for 13 bucks. These are long sleeve. But we're getting into the smaller sizes. So you could see, like, a lot of the good. bigger yeah. sizes obviously sold better. And then we have, what do we have? That's not always the case. Um, bro. But this time it was definitely the case. Mm -hmm. Our our bigger sizes definitely it's sold true. better. Umbro, Barcelona, Jersey, six bucks. So in our past 20 years of reselling and sending out auctions and all this stuff, we've always done better at size medium. It doesn't matter if it was women's, men's. It seemed like medium was always like the better size. But we got, ton we would we get, get tons, tons of, of it. Medium. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so now I don't know where you're at. I'm into some of these bras that you sell out to auction. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. I got it. Okay, this is a Victoria's Secret perfect coverage or something. Perfect. Coverage. Uh, yeah, I sent out to auction. It sold for eight fifty. Eight fifty. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret second skin satin. If you see this second skin satin stuff, sometimes it has a heart tag, sometimes it has a gold tag, but it's like the shiny, stretchy satin. And uh, that's sold out to auction for twenty one fifty. So twenty one fifty, huh? That second skin satin has been. It's usually pretty good, and it still is pretty good. Okay. Well, cool bra, ten thirty-seven. Nice. I like bras because I mean you can take all these bras and put them together, and they don't weigh a pound. Right. You know what I mean. So super lightweight, easy to ship. Yes, this is vintage caressable by Empire Foundations. It's an old bra. It's funny. I was looking this up to see like what it was, like what it's decade. A bra. You know who had one on was Jess. Jess. <laughs> Jess. Our friend Jess here. You know, we, we haven't seen oh, her in a long time. But she had one on. Wait, she was. She has a picture of her wearing this? No, no, no. She has one listed on eBay. I just, I always think it's funny. You know when you're looking up comps and then you find somebody and it's like you know them? Okay. <laughs> it's happened a couple times with her stuff that she has. And that sold for eight oh nine. I got off track there. She Sorry. picks the same things as you, huh? I thought you were saying she was wearing it. No, 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 no. Like, it was, she had it listed. Because I was trying to see, like, what decade it was from, you know. She had it listed, so it was interesting to see that she had one like I had. This is a new tag, Beauty Form. Um, we actually got that free in a box from Christine, you know, up in Michigan. So oh, yeah. we sold that one for six bucks. So thanks, Christine, for sending it to us. Thank you. <laughs> and this is a Jacqueline Bennett for Fredericks of Hollywood. This is actually a bra. It is a bralette, like it ties in the front. Tied. Some of this stuff, if you can find like the like long lingerie, some of that Jacqueline Bennett for Fredericks of Hollywood is really good. This would be so complicated to try to figure out how to put it on. And you just tie it in the front. How how confusing is that? It ties in the front. You put your arms through and then you tie it in the front. Oh well, that does seem pretty easy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one sold for seven bucks though. This seems easier. Just hooks in the back. Just put it on, hook it. Right? You gotta hook it and then put it on. I mean, I guess. But you hook it and then put people it on? People put it on differently. Like, do you hook in the front? I, I guess I don't even know how to put, put it raw. Like, you could put it on and then hook in the back, but that's like harder, but I guess people do it like that. Different ways. I thought that's how you're supposed to do it. Ay, ah, ay, yeah, ay. Yeah. This is Victoria's Secret mm -hmm. push up raw, 950. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret. This has lace, but it has second skin satin on the back. Yeah. And it has like the gold writing on the tag, so it's an old bra. Yeah, it is old. Vintage. Um, sold that for thirteen sixteen. Take it. Vintage Victoria's Secret. Now, if this was second skin satin, it would have been a lot better. But it's, it's silk. silk, so it only sold for six bucks. Yeah. If it's that shiny, stretchy satin stuff, that would have been a lot better. But six bucks for that. Okay. And then a Liliette bra, six bucks. I I I. I'm trying to, like, if if you bought something here, I, I didn't see a note on the payments. Me? I'm I didn't just buy trying, any of No, no, stuff. no, I'm, I'm just it. saying, like, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. Okay. <laughs> this is a Cassique bra, 1119. If I forget to say your name, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, thank you. Yes. Anyway. Well, I know Robin got these. She just bought these this morning. They're royal. Wait, these were from Royal Robin. These were from uh, my Terra. Thirsty, the thirsty. Your Terra? Th no, my Question. Terra box. My box from Terra. <laughs> you know, okay. we did an unboxing, and she had um, she had mystery boxes for ten bucks. This right. was actually in there. Yeah. Sold these for seventeen bucks, so that paid for my whole box. Yeah. And it was fun. If you 
follow Thirsty Thrifters really quick. I'm getting off. Well, I do. Yeah. Yeah, no. They got 200 pounds from Thread Up. Like, you yeah. know, you can buy the bulk right. stuff. So it was fun to watch her video. Well, first, when she's sorting, she has it all sped up, you know, so you can kind of yeah. see her sorting through all the stuff. And then they go over some of the stuff at the end. But, but I would uh, I would imagine you're going to get a lot of garbage in there. Yeah, I think. But I think they're going to have a garage sale and put some stuff out for that. Yeah. But anyway, I got off track, so that's a good video to watch. It was kind of interesting to see all the stuff. We're going to have but, your Valentine. We already recorded them, actually. So, thread up boxes. Got I got her five of them. For Valentine's Day. So, you'll start listening at this. So, week, what's right? the, the next holiday? Do I have to wait for five more? <laughs> Easter. Well, Just kidding. I'll wait. So, what? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? And then Sunday, and Sunday, next Sunday, Valentine's Day, we'll have double video. Double video. Double. Yeah. 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 It's just short unboxing. There's only seven things in each box. Yeah. It you was got some fun. pretty amazing stuff in some of them. Seriously. And then some not so great stuff, but it was super fun. Yeah. Yeah. So watch for those this week. I think they start Wednesday. Yeah. Like you said. I was going to talk about these pants. Though. I'm going back to these pants. Going back. Robin to got them and they're Royal Robins. So I wonder if she has a lot of clothes that say are Royal Robins, you know? Because her name's Robin. Because her name is Robin. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Would that be cool to have clothes with your name on them? I, I have some underwear that says Greg's. You do? Greg's underwear? Yeah. Where are they? Oh, I'll show them to you later. <laughs> I don't remember seeing those. Athleta jacket, 30 bucks. And disclaimer, they haven't paid. So I'm hoping they pay. <laughs> disclaimer? You're putting that in? Please, no. Well... The one earrings, remember I sold those earrings and I put them in, they hadn't paid yet, but I put them in our sold Sunday video and, and I was like, and then they ended up canceling. So I don't really like to put stuff in when people haven't paid, but, but I put that we, in anyway because we did sell it. We are having some, and sometimes they pay after Yeah, it's true. Days. I've sometimes had a lot they do of, and sometimes they don't. And I got a negative feedback yesterday to go with my two neutrals I got the last. Good job. Thanks. You're doing <laughs> something <laughs> right. Wait. I got it wrong. removed though because the person said they didn't get their item and that they, I didn't con wasn't in contact with them and I was. It showed it was delivered and I asked her nicely like can you ask your mail carrier where they left the package? Well then she was super mad at me because she didn't want to ask her mail carrier. Yeah. So I was like but they uh, scanned it, shows it, it was delivered. put it in her mailbox and then it's not the package. So it shows it was delivered. I feel bad if she really didn't get it. But, but she eBay took your feedback off. Took yeah, they off. took it off. So I went to seller help, request to move, remove feedback, came off. Oh, nice. I tried it with the neutrals, but it didn't happen. Because, because it one was thing scanned said it was delivered. stinky. It was scanned. Well, we I, do have some stuff not scanned delivered, not delivered, not moving. We still have some of that, seriously. too. I have $125 Prada boots that haven't done anything from Indianapolis in a week and a half. So I don't know if they're back to, like, really behind or what. I don't know. Okay, yeah. anyway, that's totally off subject. It sure is. Okay, we are going, oh, this is that rain caper. We just got it. So yeah. I thought it was like Monet or something. No, it's a different artist, but oh, it uh, it's some artist painting. Uh -huh. Yeah, Vanessa got this. She got Vanessa. it for her mom. She sent me a message on Macari. So yeah. she got that, $28. Thank you so much, Vanessa. I hope your mom loves it. It's really cool. It's cool. I did see they still had it on their website too, that yeah, same one. So, okay. yeah. We just picked so, up these North Face, too. Are these the boys? These are the boys. Yeah, boys. Right? They have a little bit of wear just right here. Otherwise, they look really nice. Like, the grow system hasn't been cut out. Um, th they look really nice otherwise. Yeah, we sold those on Macari also for 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Sold this Stoic. Sorry, my hair. I did not do my hair today. Stoic jacket shirt thing. Mm -hmm. um, 19 jacket. bucks on Macari. Okay. Here's a story. Guess what's coming? What? Right around the corner, Halloween. Oh. I was surprised. I got an offer still... for a Halloween <coughs> costume. I still have listed. I haven't ended the stuff. I'm yeah. like, I'm not gonna edit. Somebody we... offered me ten bucks for this Judy Jetson on Poshmark, and I'm like, yep. We didn't sell it for Halloween, but we sold it now. But I was so. thinking maybe you know how some people have Valentine's parties and they go as like, you Judy know, couples Jetson. or something. Maybe like they're. I don't know what somebody's gonna do with that. Who knows? Okay. Maybe she's getting ready for Halloween. Sold it yeah. for ten bucks. I'll take ten bucks, especially since obviously it's been on since September, probably. Probably. Yeah, and that was Poshmark. And then I sold this on Poshmark. Flora, what is this brand? 
It's Flora, Flora by Flora Nick Ruse. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna this say. This is so, it feels like the Lulu, Lulu Row, Lulu Row leggings almost. Mm. But softer like. Okay, so we sold okay. that 14 bucks on Poshmark. And then Megan got these two things. Thank you, Megan. She got this Adidas long sleeve shirt uh -huh. and this North Face jacket on Poshmark, $45. So Megan, thank you so much. Okay. So this, I we didn't have this in the video because you had taken it off. Yeah. It is matted, so it, I had to put that in the listing. But it zips off. It does zip off. So we didn't have it when in the it video, goes. but I had in the listing. This but one is dumb. a little bit, a little bit dingy. So I, yeah. you know, we said that in the listing, but it's really not bad. I mean, it's white. So. I bet you it's really warm. Some so oxy clean soak and it'll probably make it super bright. Yeah, maybe. But otherwise, you but don't have to I worry about. It. You know, it's like you're not going to ruin a three hundred dollar jacket. You know what I mean? Well, you could. I mean, you could well, spill you could. something on it. Yeah. That's why you don't have a white jacket. <laughs> right. But Megan, thank you so much. And then I have to say really quick. I saw I sold these and I'm like, I bet you it was Sarah that bought them. Because I think she bought another pair of shoes that were nine and a half from us. I don't know. I knew it was her before I even looked. So Sarah, thank you so much. These were the Skechers. I was going to keep them. But and they, they were, were a just a little big. too big. Like I need a nine. And yeah. I didn't try them on at the band. I just got them. Yeah. And then so I'm glad I got them. Sarah got them 25 bucks. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> we actually sold Great. a bunch of Works stuff out. from that haul. I just thought it was funny because I'm like, I bet you she got those and she did. They're nice shoes. I they mean, are nice shoes. I mean, we do need super to find a pair for you, duper like comfortable. <laughs> like when I put them on my foot, I was like, these are really comfortable, just a little too big on me. Yeah. So we sold these Madewell jeans on Poshmark, twenty six bucks. Wait, so do you sell stuff Poshmark, Macari, and eBay? Yeah, so, um, all three. Woo woo. Nice. A uh, new attack Abercrombie & Fitch thong. Um, we just got this too. A bunch of this stuff we just got. Well, yeah, I did just pick up. Yeah, this fifteen bucks thing. on that on Poshmark. So I'll take it. Okay, we gotta move some stuff around really quick here. We do? Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we're back. We have back to eBay auction. Right? Are you back? I'm here. Are you here? I'm here. Is your neck warm? Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah, that is warm in there. Yeah. Are my hands cold? No, nah, I'm warm in there now. <laughs> and then when I gotta wear my mask, I'm ready to go, see? Yeah, let's go. Wait, where are you going? I don't know. Nowhere, it's too cold outside. <laughs> The like furnace hasn't stopped running since uh, it got turned on this morning. Okay, we got an Under Armour lot. Uh huh. Compression yeah. pants. Sure. And a shirt. Fifteen thirty-five. Fifteen. 35. Oh no, they're in our pile. Hurley Nike pants should be the next thing. Yeah, we got that. They're Hurley Nike dry fit uh -huh. uh, pants, seven bucks. They're, they actually feel like really cozy, like they'd be nice warm. to wear. They'd yeah. be warm, they're thick. Okay. My and then two somewhere. Under Armour shirts. Oh yeah, I got that. Look at that. One. One, two. Two. Thirteen bucks. Thirteen bucks. What I do with this is I pick these up at the bin and I just throw them in a box. When the box gets full, I sort them out, try to get two together, three, whatever. And sometimes he likes mm -hmm. to make lots that don't match and stuff. Yeah, she but. hates it, but... But I still listed. Yeah. Hey, we still sold some. Right? Wait, we sold a lot. Yeah. Nike Hyper Cool Shorts, thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. Yes. These are small, like a small size, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're oh, at here. But you want to know the size? No, I don't. Medium. I don't need to know. I don't have my glasses on my head. I feel off. Shorts. Okay, this is a Nike lot. And look yeah. at how beautiful that is, huh? It little, is a good good lot. Tank top it sold for thirteen dollars. Now mm -hmm. I probably would have put that on buy it now twenty five if I was listing it buy it now, but yeah. some buy it now, some auction. That sold for thirteen. I said that. Yep. Then Zella pants. We got these. I thought they were women's, but evidently Zella makes men's stuff. I didn't know that until I looked it up. And um, these would have been pretty nice too. You should have kept them. Look, they're like joggers. They didn't sell for much. Super either, did soft. They? they sold for eight bucks. I mean, I'll take eight bucks. But you, you should have kept these. I know they, they have feel, a zipper in the back. Or yeah. Whatever. And they feel like super nice and like fleecy on the inside. I just. Well, somebody's gonna have some nice cozy pants to wear. So eight bucks on those. I just do. I need that. I mean, I have no, fifty I pairs of pants. You do. You he know, has about so. as many pants as he has hats. No. 
Well, because he, we get a lot of pants that we're like, oh, we could sell them. And then, oh, maybe it has a little bit of wear, maybe a little seam coming out, you know, and then you end up keeping a lot of the pants. Yeah. Um, because instead of just pitching them, you know, we don't pitch stuff. We don't throw stuff in the trash. I'm saying instead of redonating it. Okay. What are these? These are Under Armour made in the USA. They're kind of like vintage, thirteen forty nine. Well, my pants, quarantine, I lost like 40 pounds, so like none of my pants really fit me now. That's nice. You need yep. some of those little tights, compression tights. Why don't you wear stuff like that? Little tights. Well, you then they will be that? falling off of you. No, please don't. I'll, I'll wear it. No. no. Okay. These are Nike. I don't stock. like to be feel... Compressed. compressed. Yeah, no, I don't. I just... No, but if you wore tight stuff like that, it wouldn't come, you know, wouldn't be falling off. Like, you gotta wear a belt with these. Yeah, but I don't want the boys to be squished or anything either. Okay, so we got these Nike Track and Field Pants 1049. Go. Next. Under Armour Lot. Okay, yes. Oh, this is a tank top and sweatpants. I mean, yeah, that's a good lot, babe. Hey, I wear sweatpants with... No, nobody's going to wear a tank top. Wait, did it sell? It sold. For how much? <laughs> I don't know where I'm at now. Um, $13. See? Bam. $13. <laughs> it sold, I guess. Then these surprised me a little bit. They're vintage Nike, ACG, belted. You know, they're probably like early 2000s, late 90s. Yeah. Um, they sold for 25 bucks out to auction. I was pretty surprised. They're probably early early 2000s. Yeah. Y2K. 01. 01. 01. I yeah, I, I don't know. Up, so anyway, um, those sold for $25 out to auction. 25. I was actually, that was a surprising sale to me. And then this vintage Russell's Packers jersey, $18, which my aunt will be happy that that's gone because we don't have anything else Packers. She doesn't have to see Packers anymore when she watches our videos. I might have wore this in a video. I think you I did. was rooting for the Packers for a while, and then they lost. Don't tell me about that. But I took this picture probably eight months ago, and she just put it on, and then we finally sold it. I put it on before they were out of the playoffs. Like, the day they were <laughs> out of the playoffs. No, come on. Well, we sold for 18 bucks. Did okay. we sell it? Yeah, we sold it, so, huh. We didn't for the six months that you didn't put it on, though. <laughs> these are Under Armour pants. You actually just picked these up recently. Uh, they're kind of joggery pants. Yeah, these would have been nice pants, too. 28 bucks mm -hmm. on those. That wasn't out to auction. This was Buy It Now, so buy it was that Jersey. Yes. And then Coach, we just got this Coach. Yeah. And Van got this. Van so got this, huh? Van's ready to go take a trip. This, yeah. $9 on this Coach bag. A DOP bag. Is that what... That's, I think that's what it, how you say, is that how you say it? Dop? dop? I mean, I thought it's like a shaving kit, toiletry bag, yeah, no, that's but then what somebody it is. said it's a dot bag. They had commented that, which I'd never heard that in my entire life. So and then I looked it in? up and that's what you call it. But you put your... <laughs> Have you ever heard that word, a dop kit? Well, if it has or, anything to do with shaving, I don't... Do no, that. I know, but I've never, why have I never heard of that? Because it's really Maybe. big when you open it up. Don't you put your toothpaste and toothbrush and shaving cream and deodorant, all that Deodorant, all that stuff, shampoo. Deodorant. Well, yeah, I don't know deodorant. if there's room for that, but. Yes, Van got that $9. Thank, Thank you, Van. Thank you, Van. Van did buy a lot of stuff. Huh? I know, he did. So, thing. yeah, thank you, Van. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret robe. This is, uh, is this the heart tag? So it's the nah. 90s. Yeah, it yeah. is. Has the heart on the tag. It's the 90s. A lot of Victoria's Secret stuff has a date on the back. You can see um, what... The older stuff doesn't, though, right? This one might not either. Yeah, it doesn't. No, it's down at older. the bottom. No, it does at the bottom right there. What does that say? I'm going to look. 96. Yep, 1996. So it's 90s. Um, so that's a you know, good How way to get it. How much did it sell for? It sold for $20. That's it, huh? Well, I had it on for 30 Somebody got for 20 I took it. Okay. I'm like, okay. We sold this Madewell top. You just got this like two times ago. We went to the bed. Um, it's a courier top or something like that, and sold it for 14 bucks. Wait, it Super buttons cute. up the back. Well, yeah, it's adorable. Okay. Then Athleta swim bottoms. It must be going to get. I don't. We sold two bikini bottom single things this weekend. It must weekend. be going to get warm pretty soon. Sold that for ten dollars. 
or people are in Florida or California. Kind of nice. This is an L.L. Bean dress. I love this dress. Don't you? It's super cute. It's adorable. It's polka dot, but it is really long. It's like the L.L. Bean like travel collection. Yeah, or no, I mean, I it think was? it's cool. It is cool. And we sold that dress for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And it's not really that heavy, so would we pick it up again? Yes. This Lane Bryant, mm -hmm. <laughs> we got, Tina got this. Tina, thank you so much. Thank you, Tina. And her sweet note she put Cold on her. Cold shoulder. It is. So thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And that was $14 on that. That was the offer I think I sent out to Watchers. Okay. Um, we got, well, you got a whole bunch of plus size Lane Bryant stuff. Yeah. You got a whole I, bunch I of I think that we stuff. saw every single thing. Yeah, I think we did. That, that one awesome. time at the bin. That Just that got, one, you got that whole pile of stuff. Yeah, sold it all. Yeah, so again, Tina, thank you so Love much. Love that. So this Look vintage Fredericks of Hollywood uh, lace teddy, $25. It's vintage. You got to make sure it's vintage. You can't list this new stuff unless it's new with tags. Mm -hmm. Vintage you can list. So $25 on that. Okay. And you just pick these up too. These Lululemon. I Wonder didn't know what under. they. No, I didn't know what they were called. I just said Lululemon nine inch rise, full length leggings. That's how I listed them, and they uh -huh. sold for thirty five dollars. Thirty. That's what we sold. Huh? This Good. is like the longest sold Sunday video we've had in a really, really, really long time. There's a lot of stuff there. So we spent forty seven dollars and seventy three cents. Forty-seven dollars and seventy-three cents is our cost on everything. I don't know if it's a seven seen. or one. I can't read my writing. Forty-seven seventy-three. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. okay. <laughs> and then we sold everything for one thousand one hundred and seven dollars and nineteen cents. One thousand one hundred and seven dollars and nineteen cents. Okay. And our profit after fees and cost of goods is around nine hundred and four dollars. So about nine hundred dollar profit from this weekend. Yes. And from that's Friday because to Sunday. we sent out auctions. Other than that. It wouldn't be that. Yeah, it would have been really so, little. Yes, it's a lot of work. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna print this stuff. It's probably take us about an hour to print everything. I keep spinning on you. Like to ship it out, you know, like print the labels and stuff. It'll probably take us about an hour. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah. So do we gotta do our gross money, return right? on investment it was two thousand two hundred nineteen percent. So twenty two times our money, but after cost of goods and fees, our net return on investment was one thousand seven hundred ninety four. So, so almost 18 times our money. So our money. that's actually pretty good for us. And that's the thing. Like we send out lightweight stuff usually to auction. Those bras are really lightweight. So. And some sold good. Some didn't. Yeah. And we're thankful that we sold anything this weekend. Yeah. And we're thankful for sales. And we're thankful to have work to do to print this stuff and take it to the post office. And hopefully it doesn't sit in Indianapolis. So we got more auctions that we put out now for next week. Too. I put women's actually. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't a bunch of stuff because we had already done the women's exercise. Like it's buy it now, remember? Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, I need to get bathing suits on. Look, we sold two bikini. I need to get bathing suits. It's time for shorts, all that kind of stuff. I need to start getting that. But first, I gotta list all this stuff from my boxes that we yeah. had. There was some really good stuff in those boxes. So watch that this week. Yeah, that's coming. I week. couldn't wait. I was like, he got them for me, and I'm like, I, I gotta open these. We gotta just sit down and do all these videos right now so I can see what's in them. There's a few things I need to figure out if they're real. Um, and Macari, they have that. It's five bucks to get it authenticated. So that's a cheap, like a pretty cheap way. Okay. Okay. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Well, you so we'll are see spoiled, all week. aren't you? I know. Thanks, babe. It was well, so fun. What am I going to get for Valentine's Day after that? I don't know. What Should are you be get? something good, huh? Well, well I, I didn't know if I picked out anything from these boxes. I'm going to have to pick myself out something. There's no little 90s in there. <laughs> okay. All right. Leslie and Kurt, thank yes, you thank so you for that. much for this fun box of goodies. This is so fun, right? That's pretty it's like, fun. How do I get like one of these boxes? Like, how do you get these instead of the designer boxes, thread up boxes? Wait, I don't think I they gotta, have makeup. They have a new Midwest Jewel. She sent me a message. They had a new designer box, or it's DIY rental. It's like rent the runway. It's not the clothes. It's the accessories. So it's purses, jewelry, so on glasses. Thread up. So thread this up. is a brand new. It's a brand box. new box. Like they didn't have it before. But so, it's five items So she's, for $90. She sent you an email. She did. And they didn't sell out right away. 
because it's a brand new box and no one knew about her or something. Right. So you bought. So I got you got two. more boxes. More I got straight up boxes coming. <laughs> but they're they're more expensive. They are five items for ninety dollars. I had to get it because I wanted to try to see what it is. I still think I would probably stick with the designer boxes. I think you have more chance because once you look at Rent Through One Runway, what brands they have, they're not even as they're not like higher end like Gucci or you know what I mean. Yeah. Prada stuff like that. But we'll see. So those will be coming. That video is not going to be coming for a long time. We have a bunch of videos. To do. Well, who knows when you'll get those? Anyway. Who knows? I don't know. But so I had to order them. Just yeah. So there was like a new box that they had, and I'm trying to not even look at Thread Up anymore. Yeah. No more, because you still have more coming. So. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Hope you guys have a great weekend. But tons of people say, oh, can you email me when they come out or whatever, the regular boxes? Like, when they come out, they are sold out in 30, 30 seconds. seconds, probably. It, it really so is. Because I know I've sent something Before you could send an email, they would hope. be sold out. I know. I sent something to Hope. This is like two weeks ago. I'm like, hey, they have them. And I mean, as soon as I sent that, You don't have they time were gone. to go in and buy them. They were gone. They're gone. Yeah. It's crazy. Who knows what they're doing? Thread right up yeah. should just do those kind of boxes. They sell it so fast. Yeah. But anyway, again, thank you so much, Leslie and Kurt. We really appreciate it. I'm going to link their channels down below so you can check out their puppies, check out our other videos that she has. Um, go ahead. Sorry. Pick outside the box. Thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Bye.